Hey Matthew, Mike Peterson at Mark Ward Toyota in Chippewa. How you doing? Here, I'll spin around and say hi. It's nice to meet you. Here's the uh, that little 09 Malibu. This is a nice car. Uh, I'll give you kind of a good look all the way around it here. This one does have the steel wheels with the plastic covers, but they did such a nice job, it's hard to tell. Uh, they put the better of the two Firestones on the front, so as you can tell, pretty good tread on them. Uh, as I went down this side of it a little bit ago, I didn't see, oh, there's a little scuff right there. I'm talking a little scuff. And they might be able to buff a little bit more. Oop, a couple little ones right here. Boom, boom, a little scuff. Not a big deal. Down that door, and I'm going to have them work on that little mark right there. And I'm already kind of pulling some of it off. I think that one's not too bad. It's all kind of superficial stuff. As I look at that tire, that's the one of the brand new ones. Still got the little nubbins, see them? on the side. Uh, I'm talking a little tiny bubble right there, just starting. So obviously a little tiny bit, but you know, you look down on the rocker down there, nothing, clean as a whistle. Um, back end, it looks real good. This is, on this side, this is that little scrape I was telling you about. Just on the edge of the bumper here, you'll see it, it's just kind of a little, scrape uh, and it goes around to this side here just a, and I, it's so minor you, you really has, actually got to get right up on it to see it here's another shot of this tire and wheel in great shape I'm talking very very minor little scratches and a lot of this could probably be worked out as we look down here obviously nothing on the rocker there there was nothing for bubbles on the well that we just passed up oh, there's one little ding that I missed before because there was water. One little ding right there, looks like it was touched up, but uh, looks like they did a pretty good job on it. Anytime you get a little darker paint like this, sometimes it's hard to hide everything and in that wheel and rim. All right, we'll give you a look at the front and then we'll go over toward the inside of it. <clears throat> looks pretty darn good. All right, let's take a peek at the interior of this. This one does have the remote start. Power seat forward and back. There's those controls. This one's got, looks like it's got the paddle shifters on it. Uh, I'm assuming that's what that is. If you look at the inside, there's a little bit of a mark. I'm not sure what this is. That's paint or what it is. A little bit of that and a little bit on the seat. So I don't know, somebody test drove and put that on there. If that's a mark they can't get off, but I'll have my recon kids work on that a little bit better. But other than that, well, the seat's in real good shape. Don't see any tears or anything. Let's take a look at the back. In real, real good shape. I don't see, well, the back seat's in real, real good shape. Let's show you the front. So yeah, boy, overall, a pretty darn clean car for one that's got, what has it got, 140-ish on it, uh, and a nice value at 83.91. and we can take a couple hundred off for if you schedule your test drive and bring that little coupon in with you. So uh, again, I'll have you ask for Tori if you come in tomorrow, and if it's next week at any point, I'm here any day but Wednesday, so would love to meet you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Matthew.